Yeah, so living some pretty bizarre times, um, even a bit surreal, uh, surrounded constantly by difficult news. Here on our weekly social media talk, we've decided that we are going to echo more tonight's show, Jimmy Fallon's feelings that you gotta balance it out with a little levity, which he did, I have to say, in my opinion, quite well recently when he put the Tonight Show Home Edition online on YouTube and he roped in his wife to film. His first guest was the dog. I mean, he was really, really creative when he did this. And as well as um, Trevor Noah, who was also reporting from home doing his his monologue from what looks like his living room. Anyway, something that we may not be very far from, TK. I mean, I'm not playing around, but, you know, we may also find ourselves Absolutely. soon doing this uh, Maybe exchange next from week home. already. Mm, maybe <laughs> that soon. But anyway, on that note, what is trending today? What is trending? That's probably an easy one today <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coronavirus, COVID, of course, uh, that's what is... Um, yeah, it's dominating our life right now. Mm -hmm. But look at number seven, seven tips and tricks. <laughs> um, so one can see that people are also looking uh, online to see how they can spend their mm -hmm. time. Uh, if they're stuck at home, maybe there are ticks, uh, tips and tricks for home offices as we did. Mm -hmm. But then I got thinking about homeschooling, Ana Maria, and you spoke to a homeschooling teacher this week. What did she tell you? Well, I think uh, as a parent who has suddenly found herself with school-aged children at home with a pile of homework, um, quite useful. <laughs> so she gave me some tips like you have to watch your schedule, really schedule things. And this for someone who's not super organized is a bit of a challenge. But anyway, she has a whole format that you can follow. <laughs> um, meal plan, chores, make sure they do other stuff around the house that's not just schoolwork and playing, so it's contributing to the family. And um, enforcing all of these rules, it's also big. But then also the downtime, make sure you schedule some quiet time for the whole family. Um, and for so yourself. that everybody's doing our things. Yes. <laughs> and for parents, that was, um, that was kind of funny, actually. She started laughing when I asked her, how do you organize downtime for yourself? Um, she likes to close off the day with a glass of wine, which I can't, cannot argue with. <laughs> And talking of having your kids at home at the moment, you also have your children stuck at home right now. Yeah. And you celebrated your daughter's fifth birthday this week. Yeah. How did you throw a party in these times? <laughs> oh, there she is. She, um, virtually, like, what other choice do you have? I mean, you can't have people over. Hilarious. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so we had, here we've got uh, the uncle and the cousin on the phone. Um, wishing her a happy birthday. We also had in my, my mother from the States. We had the parents in the, the other set of grandparents. So it was really with different screens set up around the table. And believe it or not, we did manage to organize to have everybody there at one time. Our biggest challenge, though, was the bandwidth. Yeah. And, and um, that was, uh, and, that, and that is something that if you are a Netflix person, as myself, um, you're, you're going to be seeing things in low definition moving forward for the foreseeable yeah. future. Because, of course, you know, there's just too many people online, and especially in the evening. So that was a bit of a challenge, but we made it happen. We got that happy That's... birthday. We blew out that candle all together. So sweet. So talking about singing, that leads me to um, many musicians around the world have been um, composing their own coronavirus songs, which went viral. <laughs> And our colleague, Greta Rufino, she actually put them all together in a video. So let's take a listen. Oh, 
know what, and the scuffing etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how uh, these artists are using songs to actually tell people, hey, wash your hands, uh, stay at home, um, do uh, uh, adhere to, to what people are asking. Yeah, let's right? hope it's working, and we, we hope, it, well, we hope it, that it's working. It sure. gets into your head somehow. Um, yeah, but it's all about solidarity right at, now. Yes, at the end of the day, that's, that's really what it is, bringing people together, being in creative ways, musical ways, but also in more serious ways. Yes. You know, yes. really pooling resources. And you talked to somebody who's doing that right here in Zurich. Yes, I spoke to hilfjetzt.ch. That's um, uh, it was founded by a few um, people that were working in the digital campaigning sphere. So it's and help now, right? Yes, exactly. Hilfjetzt means help now in German. Um, and uh, there are a lot of Facebook groups out there that uh, offer neighboring neighborhood help, meaning if you have a neighbor that is maybe old and uh, should not leave the house, they offer mm. to do the grocery shopping for you mm. or to walk your dog or or to, to call you when you feel isolated. So Hilf jetzt, they thought there's so many groups around, but people sometimes don't know how to access them so that they did this web page that has all these groups in one place. And we basically had the idea to use our skill set uh, for this cause and to help to do something useful in this in these uh, difficult times. They started one week ago. After a few days, they had 300 registered groups. And after I interviewed them, they had uh, two days after that, he wrote to me and said, Tanya, meanwhile, we have 500 groups registered. So it's really nice to see mm -hmm. how people are coming together. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in the press conference uh, of the Federal Council today, they also said again that there are many people doing their part mm -hmm. and they thanked them for that. So, yeah, it's really nice to see that. That's the, the good news yeah, within that whole coronavirus thing. For sure. And then you've got, you know, a lot of these uh, groups that are starting to literally pick a time in the day and everybody hangs out the window and claps. Yes. Claps for them. Absolutely. We're seeing this everywhere. And our graphic guy, Andre, actually recorded it from his balcony in Romandie. Um, let's take a listen. Before we go, we'd like to extend this applause to our team who has been doing such an amazing job this week, working from home, not easy coordinating all these people and making television in a studio remotely. And for our guys in the gallery, Matis, all you guys in there, thank you for, for allowing us yeah, to... Thank you. <laughs> Is to do, to do, to do our jobs, and in the end, to provide you with information and tell you what it is you need to know in these critical times. Thank you so much, and to keep you smiling, we would like to end, leave you with a few of the videos that we got through WhatsApp and uh, through email that people are sending around. Because in times of coronavirus, it's showing that people are being quite creative. Yes. <laughs> so um, let's leave you with these, and we wish you. Uh, Nice weekend and please stay home. Thank you for coming, Chin Chin, Chin Chin, Chin Chin. Thank you, Chin Chin guys, Chin Chin, Chin Chin, Chin. chin.